Okay, so Wish You Were Here, played by David Gilmour. Now this opening uh, section is on a 12 string. And what I did in the demo is um, I, I did my you know regular part with this guitar. And then I have another guitar that's strung to Nashville tuning, which is essentially just the high strings of a 12 string. It's a six string with just the high strings, right? And I just sort of tracked what I did with this, um, with that, to kind of give it that 12 string sound. Anyway, so let's go over the intro. Um, this is such an iconic intro, you know. Um, I see guys play it a lot of different ways, but it really is all about the strumming, you know. And I'm going to try and show you uh, pretty well exactly how he played it, you know, as best as I can. It's not going to be like virtual because I'm not him. Um, but I see guys play this a lot of different ways and it just never sounds right to me, you know. So I'm going to get pretty specific about the strumming pattern in this one. So I think it's important in the intro and the first and second verses. After that, um, I mean, he goes all over the place, right? And I'm sure none of this was planned. You know, none of his strumming was planned. He just kind of went in and did it. And if you see live videos of him play it now, you know, it's not even close to the same as uh, what he recorded. But I'm going to try and attempt to show you exactly what he did there you know as far as i can tell okay so the chords involved here it's basically all centered around this big g chord right the one with you put your uh, um you play b3 so you know as well as there right we're going to get both those that's kind of what the whole thing is centered around. And that's a beautiful sounding chord okay so the lick starts here So that's your first pattern. So we're going to hammer on here, uh, A2, and then open D string. All the while, just leave your two fingers there. And then there, right, D2. And it's a down, up, right? And then we're going to go... stroke on the B and E string, downstroke on the G string, downstroke on the D string, and then open D, and then upstroke, downstroke on the low G note, and just downstroke on the G, B, and E string. Okay. I mean, it sounds like, whoa, <laughs> too much, but it's really not. You know, you just break it down. I'll, I'll play that really slow. Okay, so that's the first pattern. One more time. Okay, now the second pattern. Okay, virtually the same, just a little bit different. So we've got a da da da. First part's the same. Da 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 on the strum. And that's just basically the last three strings. We could include the D string in there too. And the whole time we want to, you know, keep our hand moving, right? Because we're just going to hit certain ups, certain downs, but we don't want to have our hands stuck. We don't want to do this. You know, we, we want to have it moving in rhythm with the song. So that's the second pattern again. And we kind of, you know, it's very, it's a very feel sort of a thing. The biggest difference between the second cycle of it is the first cycle we go. Right? 
but the second tone we go. Right? And then the ending is the same. Okay, so let's do the first one and the second one back to back. Okay, now we'll do the third one. So that one's quite a bit different. So we're going right D2 open, A2 open. And then we're going to go. All right. Now, like I said before, I'm getting really specific on this, okay? I mean, if you just want to strum this wherever you want to strum it, go for it. But I'm going to try and, you know, teach you as I hear it on the record. Okay, so after we go, we're going to kind of go a down up on that D and G string. And then a down up on the B and E string. And end up on that open A. And then we're back up top. Da da da, right? Okay. So that that um, whole third cycle. And it's virtually identical and then we just ended okay so let's do that last cycle So that's pretty well the intro for you. Now, when we get into the verses, is when we get into the C, okay? I'll just play you that first verse. Um, so coming out of the, the last cycle, so that last one, you don't go two, three, and one, and two, right? You just go straight into the and one, and two, right? So. Um. One and two and three and four. One, two and three and four. Okay, that's the first verse. And what's happening there? I mean, the chords are basic, you know. Um, D over that F sharp bass, C, G, A minor. Um, but there's two different strumming patterns that are going on there. And um, I'll just show them. Well, there's actually three. When Anytime you hit that C, he's just going to go just one, two, three. Okay, every time you hit the C, Right? 
Okay, so every time you hit the C, it's three. The other two patterns are, the first one is that one. Okay, so it's M4, M1, M4, M1. That's the first pattern. The second pattern is Okay, so the first pattern. Second pattern. And it's a combination of those patterns. So the best thing to do really is, I mean, I could, it would take me forever to explain to you exactly where those are happening. But um, this is just a case where you need to just listen to the song, you know, and just figure out where those things come in. Okay, I'm going to play that first verse now. And, uh, and you'll see that they're in certain areas, okay, and see if you can kind of figure out where they're coming in. So... Okay, so that's the strumming in the first verse. Now, the second verse is a little bit different. Same patterns, just slightly different orders, slightly different places. And like I said, I'm being very, very specific about all this, right? If you just want to strum it any old way you want, that's fine, it'll work. So the second verse is going to go like this. So as you can see, the first verse is is mostly going to be the um, the and four and pattern. And the second verse is going to be the three and pattern. So. You know, it's a little bit complicated if you want to do it the way he's doing it on the record. But um, once you get your head around those two different patterns and you listen to the guitar part, you'll understand right away which, you know, where he's doing those different sections, okay? And that's pretty well it for this song. Um, anyways, I'm going to do the solo in a separate lesson. And there'll be a link for it up there in the description box below too. So check that out because there's kind of a, a, a little trick to doing that solo. It's really obvious once you know how. Um, but um, look at that video to, to find that out. Anyways, hope you have fun playing it. Hope you get something out of the video. And we'll talk to you next time.